out, y'all. I know, it's, I've been missing in action for a while, haven't I? And I want to apologize for that right off. Uh, this video is just going to be a nice little video to kind of explain a few things and to apologize to those who have been waiting patiently, and maybe in a few cases somewhat impatiently, for me to put something new up. Okay, so need to go back to the end of August. Uh, I think I had said something about I was trying to, I was going to be going on a road trip to uh, do a special video. <sighs> camera issues. <laughs> uh, the One of the cameras I tried using, uh, for some reason it didn't work and I ended up having to switch last minute to using my phone. Uh, and it took a little bit trying to get stuff off my phone onto my tablet so that that way I could edit it. Uh, that was a mess. Uh, and while I was trying to get all of that done, taken care of, and switched over, after I got back from vacation, I ended up with an extremely nasty case of heat sickness. And I mean, it was a very nasty case. I mean, I was, I won't go into details, I will spare you that, but let's just say that I was miserable. I was really miserable. And anyone who has suffered with heat sickness or had a heat stroke or anything like that, you you know how what that does to your body. Uh, I mean, it's like the week I was on vacation, it was wonderful, lows in the 60s, highs in the 80s, I mean, it was so comfortable. And then it was like all of a sudden, uh, after that, we started hitting records. And so I ended up sick, and it just, when you get that heat sickness, it it knocks you down. I mean, it's like I'd go to work, and I'd come home, and I would be so exhausted, all I wanted to do was sleep. So I, I really, it kind of slowed me down quite a bit with that um and then the there was like two or three other things that came up and it was just like I had trouble trying to get back into the swing of things uh it, it was it was hard to get things going to uh where I could do stuff and then I had another little setback okay it was a big setback <laughs> it was a good size setback um, I forgot that my yearly subscription to my video editor, the, uh, the programs that I use to do the videos and to be able to upload them, I forgot my yearly subscription was coming around and I didn't have the money in my account. Yeah, so it's kind of like I lost my video editing abilities for about two weeks. <laughs> uh, I had so much stuff that was going on at that moment, including a little black kitty boy who is trying very hard to eat my tripod. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kingsford is down there trying to eat my tripod, and so I'm trying to hold it stable. So if there's a little bit of shaking, it's me trying to counter-react him. For some reason, he thinks it's delicious. Okay, good. You want to wait. <laughs> I love my cats, but for crying out loud. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so I lost my video editing abilities for about two weeks. And I finally had to just borrow some money because there was also another little problem. Uh, not having the money for the video editor. I also didn't have it for Ancestry. Uh, I mean, truthfully, I could still make videos without Ancestry, but it's more fun with the Ancestry. <laughs> so uh, I had to hit up some very nice people and take out a small loan so that that way I could get back on the air. And so, uh, like I said, there's just, there was a few things that was going on and it, it was one of those the snowball effects. You know, you have a tiny little snowball 
starts rolling downhill. Next thing you know, that tiny little snowball is a little bit bigger. Then all of a sudden, it's like this. The next thing you know, it's just... So, anyways, for uh, I wanted to be able to get something up because uh, I'm still trying to get everything downloaded from my phone because when I went, before I lost, or before I got sick, uh, for some reason, only part of my files had downloaded. And then, like I said, I got sick and then, like I said, snowball. <laughs> I had a snowball in August instead of snowball's chance in July as a snowball in August. <laughs> and so it, it just, it's, it slowed me down. I mean, really, it just, it slowed me down and it caused all sorts of problems for me. But, um, I, in, in case anybody's wondering, yes, I am feeling better. Um, I'm, I've gotten back a good part of my energy. Um, you know, like I said, when, when that heat sickness hits you, uh, sometimes it's just a struggle to keep going. But my one, I, I, I have to give a shout out to my wonderful bosses, Aaron and Allie. If you two are watching, I want to thank y'all for the stuff y'all gave me. Um, I know, I know that I'm probably never going to get product endorsement, but they gave me some stuff called liquid IV, which it's like, um, it's like Gatorade, only it's stronger. <laughs> it's got more stuff in it. It's got a higher concentration of minerals and stuff like that. And they gave me a pretty good supply of that. And I was drinking on that pretty regularly. And honestly, I think that really, really, really helped me. So, uh, you know, like I said, I, I know I'll probably never be able to get an endorsement from someone like them. But yeah, they gave me some product called Liquid IV. Um, hold on a second. I think I've got a thing of it. Give me just a second. <laughs> this is actually, uh, I got, I got, uh, when I was in, uh, Mississippi, I got a bunch of goodies from, uh, my friend Holly. So Holly, if you're watching, uh, I'm fixing to use one of your goodies to, uh, demonstrate here. Um, just in case anybody wonders. This is liquid IV. Let me see if I can make that a little clearer. There we go. Liquid IV. It is um, hydration multiplier. Uh, it's it's a thing like I said that this packet. I mean, look at this. This is a thick, heavy duty thing. Um, it isn't one of those flavor packets. Like, you know, you, you go and you get like a, something like um, peach tea or something like that. You know, those things are like tiny. There's just, they're like flavor crystals mixed in with a little sugar. This stuff, like I said, I mean, look at this. Look at how thick that is. <laughs> this, is this has got a lot of good stuff in it. And like I said, it really helped me a lot more than... Uh, I think what I wanted to admit to, but, uh, yeah, it, it's got lots and lots of stuff in it. Um, like I said, uh, Holly, if you happen to be watching this, th thank you for this because, uh, <laughs> I just pulled it out to use this demonstration, but yeah, my bosses, they gave me a, a bunch of, of those and they're like, you know, here, you know, take this and you'll start feeling better. And so, uh, that that was that was one of my my goodies from Mississippi, <laughs> uh, but I, in case anybody's wondering too, I did have a good time in Mississippi. That was a ball, and Holly, I enjoyed <laughs> I enjoyed going everywhere with you. That was quite a trip, but uh, yeah. So um, when I get it, things loaded, I will get back to you with the story of some of my family who I discovered had lived, and a few of them died in Mississippi. Uh, that turned into a venture for Holly and me, but of course, I will mention that later on and, uh, in the next video that I do. I just, I really felt like I needed, you know, to let, let people know, because I mean, I, I know I don't have a big viewership at this moment, 
but I do have some that are very loyal viewers and I have some that, you know, watch pretty regularly. And I just, like I said, it just, I've had a snowball effect going on for the past month and I am hoping now that the weather has cooled off some, I'm hoping that's going to help too. Uh, you know, because in all honesty, <laughs> my house is not well insulated <laughs> and I die of a heat stroke if I move out of a tiny little zone that I have set with the air conditioner. <laughs> so, uh, you know, with it being colder, um, you know, we'll make it easier to do things because I'm not going to be dying of another heat stroke. I mean, um, the heat is nothing to mess with, okay? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you people who work outside, who work in the extreme heat, uh, like me, that they are in the direct sun all day long. Uh, y'all know, <laughs> y'all get it. Uh, pe people who spend a lot of time inside, y'all really don't get it. You walk outside, oh, it's hot. You, you don't even know the half of it, okay? I mean, it, it's it's so much worse, especially if you're working out in it. And like I said, I just, I wasn't, I guess after that cold week, I wasn't really prepared as I should have been for it all of a sudden getting hotter like it did. And just for information's sake, North Texas set, I think it was eight heat records. And almost every single one of them were triple digit in September. So that, that should tell you something right there about how hot it's been. And kind of explain how easily I got sick. In fact, I think the day that I did get sick, I think that they shattered a heat record that day. So it, like I said, it's just, it's one of those things, you know, sometimes it just hits you and you don't realize it. You know, I mean, that... I, I just, it got me, you know, and it just one thing after another, but as I said, I've got my video editing uh, abilities back, so I can now produce a video and put it onto YouTube, and also, too, I've got, and I've, I've got a lot of stuff to tell y'all about what has been going on on Ancestry. Oh my word, I have got so much stuff because like I said, it's, uh, when I was on vacation, I'd, I was taking time and I'd be sitting there, I'd be looking through my ancestry stuff and I'd be like, Oh wow. Oh wow. Cause of course some, sometimes, you know, when you're either on a road trip, you know, and you're sitting there talking with someone, you kind of do things to distract yourself. And sometimes it's like when you get home and you're resting in the evening, you know, you've been on the long road trip and you're just, you know, doing something to relax yourself. And so, I, I, like I said, I, I had been doing a lot of looking on Ancestry, and there's some stuff I'd been looking at before I went on my vacation. And so, like I said, I just, I've got so much stuff. So, uh, if I can do it, I might try to start putting out a few more videos. I'm, go I'm not promising. I'm not making a promise. I'm just going to try but anyway, so uh, I won't I won't keep y'all on here too long. I just, like I said, I want to do a little public service announcement. Uh, let y'all know that I have not forgotten anybody. I have not forgotten the channel. I just, I've been snowballed. <laughs> Actually, on the day I had the heat stroke, I would have loved to have been snowballed that day. I would have loved to have bunch of snow just dropped on me. That would have probably helped, kept me from getting sick. But uh, anyway, so I'll, I'll let y'all go. And uh, I will try really hard to get the vacation video up. It's going to be a bit different. It's going to be a bit different from what I normally do, but I mean, it was a road trip. So uh, looking forward to the Mississippi road trip before too much longer. And then like I said, there uh, we're going to uh, we're going to start hitting some things pretty hard and pretty fast. So there's a lot of stuff that's coming up and uh, there's a lot of things that are going to be happening and I'm taking y'all along with me. So anyways, for those who are loyal and who have been watching, thank you so much. 
for those who maybe are just starting to watch. Get ready for the fun stuff. We're going to get some good stuff going. So anyways, I'll talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.